Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video and in today's video I'll be playing Fiora. As always, if you want to skip to the gameplay part, then um, I have a timestamp in the description. But I really, really suggest you to stay during the build part because there are a lot of important things about the Fiora build. So let's get into it. About the Fiora build, first item, Trinity Force. Done. You get Trinity Force, okay? Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. Just get Trinity Force. This works perfectly with your first ability and it's just an amazing item. Okay. <clears throat> after Trinity Force, what do you go after Trinity Force? Let me tell you, there are a million things that you can go for. So here I have Death, De Death Stance. This is generally always a good item because it reduces damage cost um, immediately to you. Like it will, it will put it into a bleed, which, you know, it will take longer to kill Fiora. And you will get Lifesteal. This is really good for survivability. Okay, you can actually also go for other items like Guardian Angel. Now, Guardian Angel is really, really good if you feel like you can turret dive the enemy, kill the enemy, and then, you know, stay alive with the Guardian Angel. This is, that's pretty much the only way that you want to get a Guardian Angel. Or basically, if you have a 1v1 matchup, like maybe Trindamir or something, you know, just like a 1v1 matchup that can kill you, but Guardian Angel is going to keep you alive, you know, th that's when you get Guardian Angel. Okay, you can also get maybe spirit visage this is against a lot of ability power if you're getting destroyed by a cannon you could get spirit visage okay you can actually get more you can also get steric gauge steric gauge is going to be really good if the enemy has a lot of slows and stuns and damage because this is going to give you a shield when you're super low a shield that grants you tenacity as well you can also go for teleport for second item yeah weird right you can even go teleport and go for teleport second item if um if you really, really need the teleport, you know, if you want to teleport to your team while split pushing. The teleport second is really good for split push Fiora. I'm not going to do split push Fiora in this video, but it's really good for it. Now on Fiora, I almost always go for the lifesteal boots. Almost always. Unless, okay, if the enemy is full attack damage, I go for Ninja Tabai. If the enemy, uh, for example, if I'm against the Gragas and enemy has Orianna mid lane as well, you know, if they have champions like that i go for mercury strats because it's really good against ability power and it's good against stuns slows and everything like that okay um about the build there are just so many items that you can go for it's really hard to say like infinity edge is really good if you just want full damage if you want to do insane damage uh let me see Yumo's ghost blade is also good if you want the movement speed this item is really good if you want to have the bonus movement speed. I really want you to listen when I'm talking about each item because it's really important to understand. So here, magic damage, uh, Maw of, what is this item called? Maw of Mal Mortius. This item is also good on Fiora. Let me just tell you, magic damage that puts you under 35% health grants you a shield that absorbs magic damage. And also triggering this grants you extra attack damage and lifesteal. This is good against Gragas, for example, or Cannon you know against a lot of ability power this is a golden item against a lot of ability power i don't suggest you to get this item second maybe third or something you know it's it's a really great solid item for fiora um you can even get bloodthirster if you really really want to have the lifesteal it, I, i'm so sorry guys it's just all these items are viable on fiora and i'm explaining during each item when they are viable there's actually an item that i almost never see i almost never see this item but this item is also viable on fiora it's called frozen mallet i am 99 sure that you've never built this item 99 sure and as it may as it reads this item grants you attack damage health and slows yes slows and this can be huge this is good this is especially good when you're playing split push fiora because uh when you're in a 1v1 situation uh you'll likely win fiora is insanely strong at 1v1 situations and this item is going to slow down your enemy so uh they won't be able to escape they literally won't be able to escape so this is also a great item i think i've talked enough about the items like i've explained about every item why it can be good so i really suggest you to if you really want to be good at fiora then you should rewatch this uh, this part of the video where i explain when you should buy each item because if you know how to itemize fiora well oh my god guys you're gonna get so good at fiora because this is so important on fiora like itemization important okay onto the runes i have grasp of undying this is just so amazing oh this is just this is the perfect rune for fiora every time you use your first ability every four seconds in combat your next attack on a champion will be enhanced based on your max health every four seconds every poke you see 
This is the perfect rune for Fiora. And um, bonus damage, 4% of your max health. That is insane because um, you're also going to build health items like Death's Dance and uh, Stark's Cage. Everything gives you bonus health. So it combines perfectly with this item. It's going to grant you so much damage. Okay, and also the heal. It's just the perfect item. Next, now, okay. There are actually two runes that you can go for next. First of all is Brutal. This is if you just want to have damage, you know, if you just want to have damage. And there is another one that is only for real Fiora veterans, which is Hunter Vampirism. Oh my god, this one is so strong if you're a good Fiora, because every time you kill an enemy, you get bonus lifesteal and bonus damage, bonus attack damage. And if you manage to kill like three enemies before the 10 minute mark, Oh, this rune is gonna be so good. Oh, this rune is gonna be like 10 times better than Brutal. So, think about it. If you re... If, like, okay, when you start Fiora, take Brutal. If you get good at Fiora, get Hunter Vampirism. This one is gonna be 10 times better than Brutal. Okay, after that, I mean, I have Spirit Walker because it's just really nice. Like, if you're chasing an enemy and they try to slow you, you have slow resistance. You know, that's basically it. And you gain extra health. You could also go for Hunter Titan. This is, again, for really good Fiora players, they can go for Hunter Titan, because if you manage to kill a lot of enemy, you'll get tankier and you'll have better tenacity. But honestly, I just go for Spirit Walker myself as well. Like, I go for Hunter Vampirism, but I, I, I prefer the Spirit Walker. It's just very nice. Here, Sweet Tooth. Okay, let me tell you something. You can go for Sweet Tooth, but you can also go for Mastermind. Now, do I recommend you to go Mastermind? No, not really, because Sweet Tooth is just such an amazing... It's just amazing, because it heals you. It, it gives you extra heal, and it gives you gold when you take the uh, the Honeycomb. But if you if you really, really want to play Split Push Fiora, you could get Mastermind. You could. So these are the runes, and... Uh, yeah, here, about the spells. You don't need Ghost. You don't need Ghost. Fiora is already fast enough if you, if you go for the items that I talked about, and the runes. So you get Ignite. Ignite is just going to help you in 1v1s. You know, easy 1v1s. Okay, so that was it about the build. Let's get into the gameplay. Alright, on to the gameplay. This is not live gameplay, by the way. Because um, I, I was not able to make live gameplay uh, with Fiora. I'm so sorry, guys. And okay, this gameplay is really, really nice. Because it, it also teaches you how to snowball against the Nasus. I'm against the Nasus and look how I'm playing. Look, you see how I'm playing? I keep bullying him and I freeze my lane. Boom, you see that? Easy, easy damage. This is how you can dominate Anasus, and this is how you have to play against Anasus, because if you play it safe against Anasus, you're gonna lose, because late game he's gonna smash you. So I really want you to pay attention how I play against Anasus here, because this can make you a uh, like, super, super good top laner, because it teaches you how to snowball against bad early game champions. So here, uh, what I'm doing is trying to reset my passive. And now it's actually on a good spot, so I can try to hit it. Ooh, I actually missed it. So a thing about Fiora that you should know. What am I going to do here, by the way? I I'm just going to try to hit him. I'm freezing the lane, and every time I can, I'm going to go in. Boom! See that? Easy damage. He can't do anything. So a thing about Fiora is when you go out of vision, um, uh, what is that thing called? Your passive refreshes. I don't know. I think I don't know what they're called. I forgot. Like, you know, the, 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 the thingies. There's like four around them. Oh, the vitals. It's called a vital. So the vitals refresh. If the vital is not on a good spot, like if it's behind the Nasus, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to come back. Because I, you need to go out of vision and then you can come back. And if you do that, you can just refresh it and you can get it on an easier spot. Okay, so Shivana's coming. And what I'm going to do here is I'm pretty sure I'm going to push the, push the lane. And then we're just going to hard dive the Nasus. Ooh, our teammate died first. So here, boom. I really hope that we die. I don't really remember because... Oh, guys, I played fifth... I, I'm, okay, you're probably not going to believe this. You're probably not going to believe this. But I'm going to say it anyways. Wait, let's just watch this first. I have my ultimate easy kill. Easy kill. He thought that he could fight me under his turret, but he can't. And even Shivana came in. Okay, you're not going to believe this. But I'm going to say it, okay? For this video, I played like... I think 40 Fiora games, or maybe even 50, just to get good enough at Fiora to show it to you guys. So, if you're enjoying this content, I would really appreciate a like and a comment. I mean, you guys always, you guys give so many likes to the videos and so many comments. I don't even know why I'm asking it, but I'm just mentioning that, you know, you might not think that I put a lot of time in these videos, 
what just happened but i actually really do you know because uh, first of all i really love making videos you know i really really love doing this second of all i just really want to make quality content because otherwise i'm not satisfied i don't want to make trash content like very bad videos of just me playing the game i really want to make educational content and only pick out the best games so that's why sometimes i won't be able to do live commentary because um, like it was so hard for me to play Fiora. I really had to focus to get a good game And when I had a good game, I you know I just recorded every match and now I'm gonna do live commentary So let's see what I do here. I see the Nasus. I know that the vital is over there. Boom. That was a really clean hit They're actually trying to gank me. So I just need to chill back off and actually The reason that I chose this game too is because I also made a lot of mistakes in the mid game and you'll see what mistakes I made I'm not gonna spoil the game. I'm not gonna say if we win or won or lost. I'm just saying that I made a lot of mistakes so here Okay, the Nasus is just kind of hovering uh, in the middle. I'm gonna I, I need to go on him like this is easy damage boom He's gonna ult me likely but my ultimate is just way better than his he flashes over But what am I gonna do flash and he's dead? <laughs> I want to tell you something real quick about Fiora um, on Fiora, there is like a combination which can easily turret dive an enemy if he's incredibly low. Like, let's say you got an enemy very low and he's trying to back backport all the way at the back of his turret. What you can do is you can flash, use your first ability, hit the enemy, and then um, on top of that, use your ignite. And that combo is just devastating because the enemies literally cannot dodge it unless they go all the way back, all the way back. Like, trust me, I got many kills with that combination. Flash, first ability, and then ignite. Easy. So here I'm looking at what items I want to get. I'm just trying to think of, hmm, what should I get? And let me, t what am I actually going to pick? I wonder. Okay, firstly, I'm going to go for the life steal boots. Like, as you can see, I'm really being cautious about what to build. And here I'm just fighting the Nasus again. I'm being really cautious about what to build. And that's because, as I said in the beginning of this video, Fiora is not like other champions. The build is incredibly important on Fiora. Like you can lit you can build accordingly to the game and completely smash the enemy. But you can also build very wrong items and be a god like Fiora and then lose in the late game. It, it, trust me, trust me, it will happen if you don't don't itemize well. So um, Shivana's here again and we should just dive. Yeah, I can just kill him because my third ability slows the Nasus and he's dead. Easy kills. So let me explain to you how you should use your first ability and your third ability. Both abilities are auto attack cancels, uh, basic attack cancels, which means that if you use your basic attack and then your ability, you can use it immediately afterwards to do maximum damage. So I'm going on the cannon. I wonder what I'm going to do here. Oh, I almost killed him. <laughs> almost. So, um, especially your third ability, use a basic attack and then proc your third ability this is to maximize your damage and you'll see me do it during this game almost all the time i'm pretty sure i'll do it almost all the time so basic attack use your third ability and then you know use your third ability again these little things are gonna be the things that are gonna make you go from good fiora to insane fiora you know building the right it okay so you have good fiora then you have the fiora here that builds the right items then you have the Fiora hair that builds the right items and knows how to do these little Fiora combos. And trust me, you want to be here. You don't want to be here. Okay, what am I going to do here? I'm just flashing on top of Nas. I want to kill him so badly. Let's see how I dive him. I'm kind of... Okay, he flashes too. I almost kill him. Okay. Okay. Let me tell you. It was a good dive. Why is it crashing? It was a good dive. But, there is a but, uh, I did not use my ultimate, <laughs> I was so greedy, I thought that I could kill him without my ultimate, if I used my ultimate, it would have been a free kill, again, like you can just turret dive Nasus in the early game, I could have easily indeed dived him, and that's what I was thinking in my head too, but I did not use my ultimate, and the reason for that was because I was greedy, I thought I could kill him without my ultimate, I almost did, but I should have just used my ultimate, that was so stupid, don't greed your abilities like me guys, this is, like this cost me a death, this cost me a death, and it's it's a pretty bad death too, it gave Nas, it gave Nas a lot of gold, so here Nas is overextending again, what am I gonna do, boom, I'm gonna go on him, use my ultimate, it should be a kill, there is no way that he survives this, right, okay, what am I gonna do, oh, and the cannon is here, what do I do, I dive again, <laughs> T 
See, this, this, this is being greedy. This is making mistakes. This is how you lose games. And I want you guys to avoid doing what I just did. I just killed myself two times unnecessarily. I was snowballing the game. And what I did now is I gave two kills away. One to Nasus, one to Cannon. And now my team has to fight without me. This is so bad that I did that. I'm just teleporting to my turret. It should be a free kill on Nasus here. I use my teleport and I, I should be able to kill him for free. You can just use your first ability. You can spam it. And as long as you hit the enemy, you can keep catching up to them. So now I just want to slow him. Boom. Easy slow and he's dead. There's no way he survives. There it is. There it is. It's like Fiora is so strong, guys, if you know how to play her. Fiora is the type of champion that doesn't allow anyone to overextend. Because if any champion overextends against you as a Fiora, you can completely smash them with your combos. Now, when you're playing Fiora, it's incredibly important, of course, to hit the vitals. But it can, it's not always easy. So I suggest you to just play Fiora. Don't be afraid. And you're, go you're probably going to play super badly a few games. Like, as I said, it took me 50 games, no, 40 games to get my Fiora to this point. And it's not even that good yet. I mean, it's pretty good, but it's not where I want it to be. I'm still making mistakes. But regarding the combos, oh my god, guys. I, I, I really, all I can tell you is practice. Practice, practice, practice. You're not going to get the combos right unless you practice it, like, super often. So here, this is not a good fight for Fiora. It's true that I got a kill, but Fiora is generally really bad in team fights, especially in these little skirmishes where you dive in, because um, all Fiora's abilities are meant to focus one target. Okay, all the abilities are meant to focus only one target, and that is why it is pretty bad in team fights, unless unless you manage to hit all vitals of your ultimate. If you do that in a team fight, the heal is gonna be insane for your team. But trust me, hitting all the vitals is insanely hard. It is so hard because you have to hit the enemy four times and around him four like in four ways around him so it's really risky high risk high reward that's how fiora works high risk high reward and abuse the 1v1 mechanic of fiora guys really really abuse the 1v1 mechanic because that's where her power lies that's how you can win your team games like if you've saw if you've seen this game already uh, I was 1v1 with the Nasus all the time and I'm and like I'm gonna play even better later on in the game You guys will see so here split pushing I just want to split push make one guy come to me and then fight him That is the best thing I can do so I, I see that they're all rotating to me you, you have to look at the minimap here see the minimap over there you can see all the enemies rotating to me So what do I need to do? I need to run and look at the map always look at the map Shivana top lane don't fight And this is what I'm doing not fight because I see Shivana in the top lane Never do something without thinking. Always, always take one second to think. It's always going to be worth it. Like, don't think that you need to be fast with everything. Like, you see an enemy, you need to catch them immediately. Fast, fast. No, that's not how it works. You see an enemy, you need to think. Think. Can I kill the enemy? And then, yes, I can kill her or no. If it's a yes, you go. If it's a no, you don't go. Trust me, if you do this... Is gonna be way better than going immediately so what i do here is i teleport to my teammate but unfortunately he didn't survive let's see if i can catch out someone sona is super low uh, i ulted sona it was really good this was really good for me so we get another kill here yeah that was just really good i helped my teammate always always help your teammates of course so shivana is pushing top lane we can pressure bot lane four of the enemies are dead so this is a good moment to pressure shivana can just Stop crashing. Wait, I'm gonna rewind. You guys need to see it again. I'm so sorry. I'll rewind. You guys, this is this is the thing that I can do if it's not live gameplay. So again, guys, again. Fiora and turret diving is like one plus one is two. This is like it's like a big love, you know? Fiora can turret dive so well. Especially with oh, it's just so good. Fiora with turret diving. Play each champion to its powers. And this is what I talked about in my previous video, the Oriana video. I'm not going to repeat everything, but I'm going to talk about it again a little bit. Because I really want to make sure you guys understand. Ooh, by the way, here I made a mistake. I did not use my second ability to dodge Camille ultimate. Let's see what I do here. I could have dodged Camille ultimate with my second ability, but I didn't. And here I did a beautiful dive over the, over the wall. And um, I triggered all my vitals. And this should be a free kill. And it's not actually. Wow. Okay, so the Nasus is fighting me. This is kind of like the best one we want ever. Let's see who wins. 
Oh, he backs off. Come on. Come on, Nasus. Why do you back off? The viewers want to see a 1v1. I want to see a 1v1. Why do you back off? Why? Okay. <laughs> what was I talking about? Yeah. So, look at your champion and think. What is my champion good at? What is Fiora good at? Fiora is good at split pushing. Good at 1v1s. Good at catching. Stop crashing. I'm not even touching my phone. Good at touching, uh, uh, catching enemies. These are the things that Fiora is good at. Wait, let me just show you again this fight because I think you missed it again. One sec, I'm so sorry guys. I bought a new cable, but the new cable is even worse because the new cable doesn't allow me to, to do 60 frames per second. So I'm gonna buy another cable. I'm gonna send this cable back and I'll buy another one. Yeah, here, see this was catching the enemies out. This is also where Fiora is good at. Um, what is Fiora not good at? Team fighting. Now, this is the only thing that Fiora is not good at, but it's a huge thing because it's it's a really important part of the game, team fighting. Like, if you're not good at team fighting, well, how the hell are you going to play the game, right? So, play each champion to its win conditions. Play Fiora to its win conditions. Try to avoid team fighting. Like, if you look at this game, how many team fights did we really have? I don't think we had even one. Only There was only one fight where I was against four enemies, but... Most of the fights that I've gotten into were like little skirmishes, like 2v3, 1v2, 1v1s. This is where Fiora is good. And this is what you should look for when you're playing Fiora. Try to look for these little fights. Don't go for huge team fights because you're like, like you're in a disadvantage. So let's see here. I can just catch her out. Boom. <laughs> very nice. Oops. Very, very nice catch. So what are we gonna do here? I can go back get a ghost blade, but honestly, we should just do Baron here. Like, why is it crashing all the time? I'm gonna buy. I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. Like, I'm gonna buy yet another cable. Like, look, I, I I bought this one. I bought it, but this one is even worse. And now I'm using my old one, which is this one. Like, I did buy one. I did, but it's it's even worse. Now I don't know where should I. I guess I have to gamble again and get another one. So here, yeah, Shivana starts the Baron. This is the right call. Why is Baron the right call? We have three lanes pushing. This is just easy Baron because three of our lanes are pushing into that crystal. So, uh, always when you have lanes pressuring the enemies, um, you can get Baron or Dragon. Because if they engage, you'll be at an advantage. And here, what am I doing here? Yeah, they just, they kind of wrecked us. But top lane is pushing hard. Bot lane is pushing hard and I'm just dead to be honest. I can't really do much. We lost this fight, but look at their base. No, we won the fight. Never mind. We totally won the fight. I'm pretty sure the minion... Yeah, there it is. So, um, I quickly want to show you how much damage I did too. I'm pretty sure that I show it after this game as well. So, let's go on to the damage part. I mean, it's fine. If I yeah, here it is. So, I want you guys to look at the damage. One sec. I need to turn off my camera so you can see it. Yeah, here. I did a lot of damage. So, I played this game really well. Like, this was a good game. So... Thank you very much for watching, and uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next Wild Rift video.